54 block shots. Uh, you can definitely see there's some history there. Intense matchup, physical. They know each other, which makes it even harder when they match up against one another. With 5.09, Wallace is going to get some rest. Herman along with Kwame Brown, Hamilton on the floor, Stuckey on the floor, and Prince is back. Watch out. He, Sorry, Matt. you got to watch this matchup now. Raptors got Bosch on Prince. See if they can get him down low. Here's O'Neal. Back down a move. Backing, backing down. O'Neal goes up strong, and it doesn't happen. Stuckey. Jose getting back. Stuckey goes up, and Parker with the denial. Help from Parker. Never give up on a play. Great job by the defensive man, Anthony Parker, to get back. The Pono shoves Walter Herman aside. Here's Bosch with Prince on him. Squares up. Back down a move. Goes in. Up and under. Up and under. Bosch. And that's where you got to go. Take Sean Prince. He's going to have a lot of trouble guarding Bosch. Continue to work inside if you can. 26 13. Those are his numbers. 26 and 13. 11 to 23. Here's Prince with Capono on him. See Jose coming down. Sam Mitchell wants yep. Jose to come and double. Yep. And Boss had to go over there. And it's going to be Raptor ball. How about Boss both sides? Look at him right now. Hey, give it to me. Especially against Prince. Prince is a good player, but he doesn't have the size to deal with Bosch down low. And if that's where Chris goes, he is going to score. Calderon has 20 and 8. Bosch has 26 and 13. Jose looks on the inside. Kwame on O'Neal. O'Neal takes it. Gives it up top. Parker. Herman running at him. Last time the Raptors led, it was 25 to 24. That was some time ago. Two-point game. 88-86. Detroit on top out of the wing. Boy, does this one look familiar? It's like all three of these games. This is the fourth one like it. Shot clock down to four. And Rip Hamilton created contact, wanted more, didn't get it. He got the two. It's a four-point game. Yeah, so much poise. Richard Hamilton knows exactly what's going on, how he's going to try to bait the officials and his defender. Jose, Kwame came with a head. Bosch looks on the inside. Can J.O. get it going down low? J.O. fading. Shot no. Got to get Chris involved. I agree. This is the guy you want to look for right now, especially with Prince on him. 2.52 to go in the fourth. Rip up top. Parker's got tough duties. Shot clock at seven. Rip isolated up high. Puts it on the deck. Here comes a double. Hamilton shot doesn't go. Tapped it up. Keeps it alive. Tapped by Bosch and Stucky gets it with a fresh shot clock. Near the 2.30 mark and a timeout taken by Michael Curry, the former Raptor in this four-point game. And I don't know if Detroit thought... It'd be like this with 2.32 to go. The Raptors down by four at home to the Pistons. Friday night, TSN, Raptors three-game road trip, and it begins in the ATL. And then on Sunday, on CBC, it's the Bobcats out of Monday at Raptors TV, the Boston Celtics. For the Toronto Raptors, how about Anthony Parker get back? Jose did a great job of making his shot tough. Parker blocks it. And then Richard Hamilton so good at making his defender commit. Leave his feet, make a mistake, and he makes the shot. Rip Hamilton with 16. They've been led by Prince. Subway, eat fresh. It's the wrap-up. And you see the huge numbers for Bosch. 15 earned here in the second half. Rip City is exactly that. Second chance points, plus 12 for the Pistons. Stuckey along with Hamilton, Prince, Wallace and Kwame Brown in for Amir Johnson. Bargnani on the floor with Parker. Bosch Moon and Calderon. Kick out. See, that's where Rashid Wallace just burns it. I mean, that was a great defensive play by Bargnani, except nobody there is. He's patted that ball away. Try to direct it to a teammate if you can. 92-86 near the two-minute mark. Jose, it's a two-foot on the line. 22. And he looks over at him at ball. Come on, give me one more. I want a three. <laughs> it's a two. 
92-88. Things are slowing down, Detroit style. 146 to go with Hamilton. Fires. Shot doesn't 